when I go to those sensors you guys can see right here the information so now I have Newark a latitude and a specific longitude okay I have a very specific latitude I have a very specific longitude and I have the city of Newark now when I first did this when I first saw this right here I was highly upset with CJ I was upset with CJ because the one thing that we all know about CJ is the man is from New Jersey and Newark is in New Jersey I said, man, I cannot believe that this man CJ sent me on a wild goose chase only to lead me back to a city that he lives in. Disappointed, highly disappointed, upset. Highly disappointed and upset. Highly disappointed and upset. Seth YF Sports, man, it's Lamont. We back. And we back again, man. Y'all know what time it is. I... You know what? You know, I just said, you know, forget the politics, man. I got to give the people what they want. So I was sitting here this morning, man. I was sipping my tea. Y'all know how, y'all know what time it is when I have my tea. When I have my tea, but I also had you know, I don't know if y'all have had this before, man, but I had crumpets. This is the first time. My homie from the UK sent me something called crumpets. So he said, eat the crumpets with the tea. And he said it's going to make the tea crazier, man. Crumpets, Crumpets with the tea. Crumpets with the tea. So, you know, we back with part two of this this epic investigation. Man, this 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 investigation took me all across the all across the map. From over here to over there. From over there to over here. My emotions is spiked high. My emotions is spiked low. We saw how the last video ended. The last video ended. I just had to shut the cameras off. I had to shut it down at that point in time because I thought CJ was leading me on a wild goose chase. You know, we we know where the, we know where the investigation last left off. Um, the investigation last left off giving us some coordinates, man. Uh, and you know. When I sat down, when I got my mind right and I cleared my mind, I said, you know what, let me let me sit back. I'm gonna regroup, I'm gonna reorganize, and then we're gonna continue this investigation because it doesn't end right there. You know, but before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. We are grinding. It looks like we're gonna hit 15K probably within the next couple of hours. Hopefully by the time this video even drops, even touch down, um, we at 15k. Um, I, I, I was I was thinking that this was something that I would have to drop on on the Patreon channel. Um, but you know what I said? You know, I said the truth needs to be told, man. I I, I didn't feel like I, I don't think I need to drop. I don't need to censor my my content. You know, for the emotions of a few people. It's a, it's a few people out there. It's not many. It's a few people out there that's highly sensitive about this, about this particular topic, man. And, the, you know, a couple people reported the channel after the first exposed video said I was bullying them. You know, I, and I just said at the end of the day, how can how can I bully you if you're innocent? There's no way. So 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 what I said was I said, I'm, if you're innocent and if I'm targeting an innocent person, then this cannot be considered bullying. That's all it is right there. So 
we just decided to go ahead and move forward with the video here on FYF Sports, man, because that's what we do, man. We eat the people, we debunk people, we investigate everything. We always come with the facts. Y'all know what the FYF means. Forget your feelings, you know. And, and, and again, if you have a problem with what we got to say, you can always come to our channel. You can always try to debunk us. All right. But that's what we do. But again, today, now again, hopefully, this is the last video I have to do on this. You know, I'm gonna start trying to unravel here with FYF Fred. If y'all know, he's still here. He he was a vital part of this investigation as well. Um, and we gonna we gonna really try to get to the heart of this particular case. Um, and we gonna figure out the the goal of this. We need to exonerate CJ. All right, CJ, we gonna get you that apology. All right. You know, it does not look as if people are going to be willing participants and giving you that apology. So what we got to do is we got to go force their hand. All right. We got to go force their hand. Now we got to go. We got to go shake some stuff up. You know, you know, you know, you, you know, you know, when you had that look, that little kid at school, that's a kid messing around with you. You just got to grab him by the back of the neck. You just got to make him say sorry. We just got to grab some people by the back of their neck. And then bring them to you, CJ, so they can say sorry. So, so this investigation right here is us just grabbing them by the back of their neck like they're a little badass kid. We're going to take them to CJ so they can apologize. So that's all it is. We're not going to hurt them. We're not here to beat nobody up. We're not here to bully nobody. We're just here to drop the facts. We're here to exonerate CJ. Hashtag free CJ. Hashtag free true to king. Damn shit. Now it's hashtag free, free Lamont because I found myself blocked. For whatever reason now and i just you know i just conducted the investigation now i'm blocked you know so again the powers that be is is is, is waving all their magic wands trying to make stuff happen you know they trying to control the narrative they trying to diminish the media they trying to diminish the facts hey man you know fyf sports it don't matter it's the, the truth will be told and the truth will get exposed all right, so what we're going to do right now is we're just going to go ahead and pick up. We're going we're gonna to pick up where we left off. And you guys remember where we left off at. All right. I'm going to pick up where we left off. And let's get over here to this screen right here. So this is where we left off. This is where we left off. Remember those coordinates that we had. All right. And uh, I'm on. I'm on a. Just so we make sure we ma everything matches, everything is accurate. I'm gonna show you the coordinates right here. Boom. There's the coordinates. The coordinates will match what you see right here. Boom. So we got accurate coordinates for this location. All right. This this location comes to a Clifton Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. A Clifton Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. Now I already I already verified with CJ. He said he's not even close to Newark, New Jersey. Um, and and I and I agree with that. I, I, you know, he, the city that he mentioned, he mentioned the city, you know, went t months ago on Ticket TV that was not New York, Newark, New Jersey. So we know, you know, when before this be, even became a big situation, he had already told me what city he lived in. And. We know the culprit, or at least the culprit. And I'm not even going to say culprit, because culprit means I feel like that person is guilty. But the suspect, you know, we have identified a suspect. The suspect in the last video was Will. Will. Will was the suspect. Now, and again, suspects just simply means we got to investigate you. And Will, Will, did not take offense to the investigation, because Will, you've been being highly suspicious lately. You've been extremely emotional. You've been going off on everybody. You've been continuing on your 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 uh you you've been continuing on your bout of calling everybody uh B A N. Alright. So that's highly consistent with the messages that we saw on my page that were spammed on my page. Uh, uh I mean when when we were talking about giving indicators of, of a guilty party, William, you you showing all the indicators. You're not showing you're not showing a lick of innocence. You're just mad, you know, you're stressed. Gray hairs popping out everywhere. You know, I don't know what's going on over there, man. I hope y'all can like I said, I'm blocked. I can't I can't save them now. I'm blocked. So I, I could go over there and try to ease the situation. I could go over there to try to put out the flames. I can't do that now. They blocked me. They, you know, 
And, and, and I, I got blocked on the 27th. I got blocked when I released the investigation. People knew where this investigation was headed. I got people trying to cover their tracks and cover their bases. But, you know, we, we work in IT. We, we deal, you know, behind the scenes. You know, we, we, we checking for that digital footprint. You know, but we got this long. We got this. We got we got the coordinates right here. So let's get back to that. Yeah, I'm not even going to sidetrack. I, I don't want to get too sidebarred on this, but we got the coordinates right here. And it looks like. It's an apartment building. And, you know, when I first saw this, this looks like a big apartment building. When I first saw this, and, and when we look at the map right here, so we look at the map right here, that is some apartments. It's called a colonnade apartment. So this can't be it. Because the one thing that we know, damn, and it got a low rating too, y'all. This is not some apartment. This, this definitely has to be in the middle of the hood. Because if you see the star rating on these apartments, it's a two-star apartment. So you got to be in the middle of the hood. Um, the Colonnade Apartments. Uh, yeah, this this don't look like a place anybody just want to live. But, you know, you never know. But when you in, when you in the New York, New Jersey area, sometimes you got to settle for places like this. Because the cost of living out there is extremely high. Property values off the chain. The Colonnade Apartments is where it's at, though. Um, but... The digital footprint led us here. So I felt like if, if I want to exonerate Will, because again, I see he's been on edge. He's been on edge. He's been cussing me out. He's been coming to my channel cussing me out. He's been cussing everybody out. I mean, I think the only person he hasn't cussed out is Ticket TV and Anna, you know, but we, you know, we know why. We know why that's the case. We don't need to talk on that. But yeah, I think the easiest way to solve this right here, I mean, just use the two elements that we know. What are the two elements that we know? We know William, William 84 Bird, and we know Newark, New Jersey. The Google, the Google, you know, the power of the internet, the power of Google is extremely powerful. So I figure if we just put those two things in the search bar, we can exonerate if they don't if, if there's no likenesses there it's not gonna give us no connection so i feel like the internet usually gives you everything that you need to see i don't know i've never been to newark new jersey um you know the, I, you know what are the odds you know and i put it like this what are the odds that if i if i can google these two if i can google these two keywords together what are the odds that a william bird has ever stayed in the colonnade apartments I don't think, you know, if those two things come together, you know, if those identifiers come together, you know, then that means this is that's some damning that's some damning evidence. Oh, William. But I think the only thing William has on this side right now is the fact that he has vehemently stated multiple times. He's he's, he's stated multiple times. I have my own house. I have my own car. I have my own house. I have my own car. He stated this don't look like a house. All right. And I hope this and I hope this minivan, this miniature car right here isn't your car. That's a terrible car. That's a terrible selection of cars. So uh, I hope that you would do better than that. So this doesn't look like a house. This doesn't look like a. I hope this is not a car he would drive. It could be, you know, because, you know, times is hard and, you know, in the New York and the New York, New Jersey area, all of that. So I figured we just got two, we got two keywords that we can just match up. Let's just put them in Google and see what we get. We're not going to go into the deep investigation on it. You know, we don't need to go to the white. Let's just Google the two terms that we know. And let's see what we get. And here are the results. Right, right here, y'all. We typed the two terms in right here. And, you know, you know, I know earlier, earlier, you know, on the last video, I talked about having inconclusive evidence with my exhibit one, two and three. This was all inconclusive, you know. Um, but all of that inconclusive evidence, it actually led me to some conclusive evidence. Um, and we're just going to discuss that conclusive, conclusive evidence. So we see the two search terms that I use. William Byrd minus the 84. 
Not sure what the 84 is for. Newark, New Jersey. And the results? CJ, um, CJ might may be a free man after seeing these results. CJ is probably gonna be a free man after I just seen these results. CJ, I'm, I'm a, like I said, I'm, I, I was, I was thrilled when I came across this because what do we see right here? William J Bird could be a junior or something like that. I don't know what the J is for. It could be junior, and I don't know. But there is a William Bird linked to an address on Clifton Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. So our investigation, man, following the digital footprint, pulling up the coordinates. The coordinates, the coordinates took us to a street called Clifton Avenue right at the Colonnade Apartments in Newark, New Jersey. In those two search terms. William Byrd, man, these, these two search terms point directly to you. Now, you know, that's, that's, this is, this is damning, this is damning evidence. This is damning evidence. And we, we, we got some questions that you need to, you know, we, you need to answer. William Byrd, you, you, you may have to, you're going to have to step forward. You're going to have to come to FYF Sports and you're going to have to atone. You're going to have to answer for these transgressions, man. This is some serious transgressions, man. This don't look good for you. You know, further down right here. William J. Bird, 46 years old. He don't sound 46. Lives at Clifton Avenue. Newark, New Jersey. And, I, and like I said before, y'all, I, I, I really wish that I really wish that, um, you know, I, I was looking at the odds. Like, what are the odds that this name would be connected with this particular street at this apartment complex in Newark, New Jersey? Extremely, extremely low odds that those two things would just naturally merge and connect. And they connected. Those dots connected. And when I first saw this right here. I was almost ready to, to pull the trigger. I was ready to point all guns blazing at William Byrd. You know. And then I just had to sit back and think. We sit back and think, man. So we got so much. So, you know, we got so much evidence pointing toward William J. Byrd as the culprit. And, you know. But then I have to think back on one thing right here. I have to think back on one thing right here. You know, somebody, somebody did, somebody did, or, or, or one of the fake accounts did say something about the man's wife that passed away. And I just cannot bring myself to believe that somebody would do that. I don't, I just can't believe, I cannot bring myself to believe that. All right. So I, so I said, you know what I said? I'm going to continue to investigate. I need to continue to investigate this because, again, I'm not I'm not going to, you know, again, those are some very, very damaging statements to make. Right. Th th those can be some extremely disrespectful statements to make to tell somebody that they made statements like that about one of their loved ones. All for CJ, you know, as for as crazy as Will is and Will is crazy, you know, Will is crazy. I don't think he would stoop that low. I honestly don't think he would stoop that low. And that's this is coming from somebody who I know he does. I know the man doesn't like me. I mean, I don't know why. You know, he doesn't like a lot of people that I don't know why he doesn't like him. I think I know he only likes one to two people. I know that's Ticket TV and Anna. Well, I don't know why. Those are the only two people he likes. But he, I mean, he listens to him. He agrees with everything they say. He does anything they say. It's just it's how it is. It's a very odd relationship over there. But at the end of the day, as crazy as he is, I don't see him doing that. 
I don't see him. I, I can see him. I, 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 as the evidence proves right here, he is responsible for some of the spammed and fake messages. So, so you are guilty of a lesser charge. You are 100% guilty of a lesser charge. All right. You will be convicted for that. Um, uh, you will have to come for your sentencing date here at FYF Sports uh, on Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's your sentencing date. If you want to get sentenced for these sins and transgressions, if you want to say something in front of the court, uh, to you know, th that will be your time to show up and speak your case. But but for the lesser charges of creating a fake account and spamming, at least to me, you're definitely found guilty. I'm not going to convict you of cr going into any other chats and then making damaging statements that involve your wife. Those are other charge. Those are other transgressions that we got to look deeper into that. Because I think for us to go that far to say you did something that crazy, to say you did something that disrespectful and that hurtful, we need more than just this right here. We need we we need we need some form of evidence that's gonna be so strong, so convincing that, that you know there's nothing. So we got to continue to investigate past this. But as you guys can see, the man is guilty of the lesser charges. Of creating a fake account and at least spamming a few he spammed a few at least that we can prove through digital footprints a few of the disrespectful and silly messages so for that you still have to come to fyf sports at 5 p.m pacific standard time to atone just for your sins you got to accept the sentencing date and it's just that's just how it is now if you choose not to show up you'll be sentenced you'll be sentenced uh without your presence there and, and you'll, you'll have to answer for those crimes but that's what we do here at FYF Sports, man. Don't get caught up in one of our investigations. It's penalties. All right? But we, um, you know, like I said, I'm fair. FYF Fred is fair. He, he, he's going to determine the punishments. He's fair about all of this stuff. He, you know, sometimes he can be lenient when it comes to things like this. And um, it was, like I said, in unison, me and him talked about it. We said, you know what? Let's look a in, little deeper into this. Let's look a little deeper into this. And as we looked a little deeper into this particular situation. We found some new evidence that implicates a new suspect. And the evidence is overwhelmingly. damaging to this particular person so what we're going to do is we're going to take you back to how we even came across this evidence because it was almost an accident this is how we came across this this information and what we're going to do is that means we got to take you back to my page and we got to show you some of the trolled and spam messages against us and then and then at that point in time we can expose who the second suspect is. All right, so so this is the video right here. I, I I knew that I knew that this fake CJ had spammed my page before. I just couldn't remember when or where, so it took me and FYF Fred some time to really get to the bottom of this and figure it out. But we actually did figure it out. Um, and, and it's and it was it was you know the, the evidence was was crazy this information was crazy so again this is, was a video that i made back on september 27th september 27th it is it was a newer video uh, and i'm gonna scroll down right here i'm gonna scroll down into these comments and you see right here you see this comment right here And it says, LOL, bro. Lamont, you trash, bro. So you know what I said? I said, I said to myself, is this the is this the same fake account? Because again, if you if you look through these comments right here, if you look through these comments, um, 
everybody's saying that this is the fake CJ. Everybody's saying it. Everybody knows it. See, even I joked around and said, it's Lamont, no E, fake CJ. LOL. Hitman X even said, CJ, this is the fake CJ page. You know, everybody knows that this is the fake CJ page. It was not a big deal. Like, for, at least for us here at FIF Sports, it wasn't nothing that we needed to come and rant and rave about um, doing one of our live debates or anything like that. It's not that serious. Who cares? It's just a fake troll page. We give them no energy. They can't survive over here just because we don't give it no attention. All right. We a little bit more mature than that. You know, we we a little bit more mature than to let a few uh, uh, fake or spam pages bother us while we're talking about basketball or sports in general. We can keep it pushing and they'll eventually go away on their own. That's what that's all you got to do. But I, like I said, I appreciate the chat, you know, and everybody who's been over there, you know, all, all to over 2000 of you sometimes in the chat checking out the video. I appreciate you guys for maintaining some level of maturity, ignoring the trolls with the fake accounts. And we just keep it pushing, you know, but what we see right here is we see a fake page. We see this fake page and this is the fake page. I needed to figure out is this the same page or is there someone else out there creating multiple pages all right is this the same page or is there someone else creating multiple pages all right and i sat back and spoke with f by f fred and i'm saying how can we figure this out you know how can we link this page to another culprit you know again we we came to the conclusion that there's no way that that will created a fake account we know that he did create a fake account but there's no way that he created a fake account that said some of the things that were said especially things about one of his family members that had passed so, so we were saying who would have done something like that you know how can we connect those dots you know should we just do another digital footprint chase it and, and tie it down to somebody else or is are there, are there some other identifiers are there other things that we can link and FYF Fred, FYF Fred, you know, he, he said, what's the obvious answer? FYF, FC FYF Fred is simple, man. This dude is a simple dude. He, he's simple. He gets straight to the point. And, and this is what he said. He said, who, he said, who are the only two people that mess with CJ? He said, who are the only two people that cussed him out? Who, he said, who were the only two people that didn't treat him like a little brother? And I thought on it. And I said, you know, well, Will definitely didn't. He has a, a, a extreme burning hate for the man CJ for, for no real reason. And then and then FYL Fred said, well, there's somebody else. I said, who? And he was like, he said, Anna. He said, the, he said, Laura Ingram. He said, Laura Ingram. He said, the black Laura Ingram also came into the panel with a, a, a burning hate for this man CJ for no real reason and I said for, I said I'm like Fred how does that make sense I was like I was like how can we connect the dots like there's no dots I can connect there like you gotta put you gotta put this together for me if you want to make it work like what what are you gonna do and so Fred Fred came up with a with a really good idea Fred just asked me he said, does she have a YouTube page? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, she got one. I, th I said, I think she's looking to be an aspiring YouTuber. The Black Laura Ingram wants to be an aspiring YouTuber. And eventually go into working for Fox News as a pundit for the White House and Donald Trump. That's that's what I was told. I, I was under the impression she wants to go be a media pundit for Donald Trump. And again, she's 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 already auditioned for that role. She told LeBron to shut up and dribble on live air. So again, she's auditioning for that particular role. She auditioned for it beautifully. You know, I call it cooning to a certain degree, but it was a beautiful audition. You fit the role over on Fox News. And so, you know, so so but he came up with the great idea. FYF Fred said, you know what? He said, I'm tired of doing all of the IT stuff. He said, I'm gonna keep it simple. And Fred put together the most simplistic investigation and the most simple investigations are ultimately lead to the most damning results. And so we're going to we're going to get to how FYF Fred broke this down and came up with some beautiful results. And again, 
it, 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 I wouldn't consider is it, it, this 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 evidence is very damning. I'm not going to say it's lockdown evidence, but it's a start to point us in the right direction. Let's get to that. All right, so 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 we have it right here, y'all. We have it right here. We pulled up the page. One video, as I thought, six subscribers. That's that's honorable, you know, six subscribers for a seedling, for a seedling in the game. I see you over there grinding. One video shows me the work that you're putting in. You over there working hard. A, a, a one video, two minutes long. I'm talking about that's max effort right there. That's that's putting in work. I love it. But we see the one video, 41 views. Awesome job, six subscribers. You know, but FYF Fred said, you know, he said Lamont, he said something ain't right. He said, he said I trolled her page. He said when she showed herself on camera on Ticket TV, he said I trolled the shit out of her. He said I trolled her. He said that's not the page that I saw. He said I don't know what you're looking at here. He said, this is not the page that I saw. He said, she had more subscribers than that. He says, this page that you're showing me has six subscribers. FYF Fred told me that the page that he saw had more than six subscribers. I said, FYF Fred. I was like, look, look, the page is right here. Look, y'all see it. We went to home. We go to videos. We got playlists. It's one video on here. I said, FYF Fred, you even click on the video. It's the video, you know? I said, FYF Fred, we even scroll down. We even scroll down and we see comments, you know, hold on, let's, let's straighten the screen out here. Uh, he said, we even see comments from the homie. One of the homies, Jacob Jennings. I'm gonna show that to y'all right there. See that, y'all see them comments. Y'all see them comments from the homie, Jacob Jennings. So this page is being circulated, you know, you yeah. know. This is her page, FYF Fred. We're not we're not capping, we're not playing no games. Two thumbs up, two dislikes. That's about right. I thought she had a total of two fans out there, ticking and will. So, you know. That that was about right for me. But see, FYF Fred said, search it again. FYF Fred said, I'm not going. He said, search it again. And then this is what we found. Oh, we got another page. Hold on, you got one page. Oh, you got two pages. Hold on. You got one page here with the same video. You got another page with the same video. Why, well, hold on, hold on. Why would you have two YouTube pages with the same name, with the same video, and you title the videos differently. Welcome to my domain in one video, which actually seemed more realistic because you had because you used the hashtag Ticket TV Sports Talk blah blah blah. You trying to clout chase off Ticket TV in this video, but on the other page, you got a it's just me coming soon. This has more views, two hundred ninety three views. Hold on. Make sure everything's cool with it. Yeah, this is definitely it. 45 subscribers. You know, we click on the video. It's the, definitely the same video. Hold on, man. What is going on over here? We got to make sure we're dealing with a legit video. We're going to scroll down, y'all. Make sure we got this. Okay, that, that look about right. 22 thumbs up, 47 dislikes. That's a lot of dislikes. And only 294 views you get. You gotta get your act together over there, man. People disliking you that much? You know? Let's see, I don't know what's going on with this right here. 
And, and I said, I didn't know what was going on with this video until I saw this comment right here. I saw this comment right here. And it made me start to think something ain't right. Something don't sound right. Something don't look right. We got a comment right here. Adrian Barbie says, wait. Didn't you have another channel? So it's not just me. I'm not the only one seeing this. You do got multiple channels. Jacob Jennings been to your other channel. He commented on the video. Wendell Mark said, I asked the same thing. Adrian Barbie, really? Hmm. People is, people is catching on to the game. People is catching on to the game. Some ain't right here, y'all. Some is not right. Some smell fishy here. We got to really investigate these channels. So I was thinking, talking to FYF Fred, well, how can I investigate these channels? And, and, and again, he's this man is very simple. He went to the most simple thing that I can think of. He said, when, he said, he said, can't you just go to the about tab and you can see when the accounts was created? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, you can see that. Let's do that then. All right. So we're going to go to the we're going to go to the first channel that we saw. So here's the first channel that we saw with the six subscribers. And this is still active. You guys, the link to this channel is going to be in the description of the video. You better click it because it's probably going to get deleted soon by by the by the suspect if this channel gets deleted then you know what time it is you know this is probably damning evidence but you know here at fyf sports we like to put out the news before it can disappear so before they can try to get rid of it but we're gonna go to the about tab all right so as you can see here so the page with the uh, six subscribers it says this page was created on October 27th, 2020, the same day the first video went up, the same thing, you know, basically, basically this page was created the same day the video went out. Kind of consistent, very consistent with what a new YouTuber would do. They usually would create a page, drop the video, whatever. That's a very odd date, you know, to have to drop your video on a page this, this young, especially when we've seen you all over other channels with an, an aged account. That's very odd right there. But this account was created October 27th, 2020. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the other page. We're going to go over to the other page with 45 subscribers. We're going to see when that account was created. Let's go check that out. All right. And so as you guys can see right here, this is the other the other page. Now, again, I don't know what page is real or fake because both of the pages, both of the pages that we saw have the same video. Both of the pages have comments from known subscribe, known, no, known subscribers. You know, we know Jacob Jennings. He he supports everybody. This man right here is the biggest supporter uh, 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 of black creators on YouTube. If you see this man, you need to give him again, give him a round of applause out of Dallas, man. This man is a big time supporter. So again, he's out to support anybody who's trying to create content. So it doesn't surprise me to see somebody like that really trying to jump on and support people, especially young YouTubers who are trying to grow. But we see with this account right here, when was this account created? This account was created September 13th, 2016. Now, both accounts have the same exact name the only difference is the subscriber count and then also the comments on the first video but both accounts and then you see as i'm switching between both accounts both accounts have the same name the same photo all right the description is very simple and similar the video descriptions are very simple and similar all right so when we look at the videos for each page the videos for each page are is exactly the same just odd why do you have two pages and why did you post this same two minute video on both pages and and i'm gonna get to that later i'm gonna get to that later but 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 i'm, I'm about to touch on the most damaging piece of evidence that i've uncovered 
and, and I'm going to take you to that right now. So what, what we do know is that we do have two fake or not two fake. We do have two Anna accounts. That's what that's one thing we do know. And they were created. We saw the days that they were created. We saw this one. This account was created with the lower subscribers. This account was created in 2020. And this account was created in 2016. All right. So that's what we know about these two accounts. This one specifically, it goes down to the exact date. It was created September 13th, 2016. And the other account was created October 27th, 2020. Remember those dates, y'all. And I especially want you to remember this particular date right here. This page was created September 13th, 2016. Now, while you have that in mind, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to those first messages. Remember those first messages in the previous video where I showed you where the fake CJ spammed my account. All right. So we're going to go to the fake CJ's page. Here's the fake CJ's page. Now, this is the first fake CJ. This is the first fake CJ that spammed my very first video on YouTube. Now, they didn't they didn't spam it that same day I created my channel, but they did spam it later on. And this is this this is the first CJ. So the first CJ that that spammed my account. All right. We're going to go to the about. This account was created February 19th, 2016. All right. Now remember, remember also what I showed you as well. Remember, I remember I went to those messages from that other account. Now everything looks exactly the same. One subscriber, the picture looks the same. You know, to the to the unknowing guy, you would think we're dealing with the same account. But this account was created February nineteenth, twenty. So I want y'all to remember this video right here. Remember what I said. Everything looks the same. Remember this CJ right here. Remember this. This this CJ, everything looks the same. This person spammed my account. LOL, bro. Lamont, you trash, bro. Two bros in one sentence? That don't sound American. Two bros in one sentence? That don't sound American. Adding an E on the end of Lamont T. The extra T E. The extra, those extra Mount T sounds. That, that sounds like that sounds like an up north trend to me. Mount T, you know, Lamont T. The the misplacement of the multiple bros sounds like you're trying to fit in where you can't fit in. Some don't seem right. Let's click on this account right here. You know, we we need to click on this account right here. We need to figure out who is this. Who is this CJ? Who is this CJ? I need to hit the about tab and I want and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in clearly so you can see exactly what you I want you to see exactly. I don't want nothing to be misconstrued. I didn't see it. I want to show you guys exactly what I see on my end when I click the about tab. What I want y'all to look at very carefully right here is the second fake CJ page was created on a different date. And the second fake CJ page was created on September 13th, 2016. That's a that's a crazy coincidence because what we're going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this page alongside of another account that was also created on September 13th, 2016. Hold on one second. It's about to appear right here. And there we see it right there. You guys dots connected. This is what you call dots getting connected. We see up here fake CJ page at the time at that time. The fake CJ page. You got to think this. This happened months ago before this person even thought to create content and gain subscribers, or at least a few that this person has. Fake CJ months ago 
This particular fake CJ on September 27th. This fake CJ on September 22nd, 7th, commented on my page. This fake CJ's account was created on September 13th, 2016. This account right here was created September 13th, 2016. The only difference, what's the only difference between news accounts? Oh, the name was changed back. The picture was changed back. But one thing you cannot change, you cannot cha change the date that your account was created. And, and we, if we look back, if we look back four years ago, how old was CJ four years ago? C CJ was probably 14 or 15 four years ago. And the man was probably not even in this country. We got to remember, CJ's new to the United States. CJ's new to the United States. It's very feasible that this person down here definitely created this account on September 13, 2016. All right. So, so now we've connected the dots. This account right here is showing, you, you know, I, I want to look, I want you guys to understand, you know, the astronomical odds of me pulling these two accounts. What are the astronomical odds of me pulling these two accounts and the dates that they created were exactly the same. The dates that these two pages were created were exactly the same. All right. So the one thing that we do know, the one thing that we do know is now we have to exonerate Will because now Will, we've confirmed that there's a third party out there. There's a third party out there that has two accounts and we, we broke down the example this person has two accounts for whatever reason this person has two accounts put the same video on both accounts and i don't know if there was accident or mistake and that just happens to match the same date that this account was created this account the fake this, this fake cj account that commented on my page this fake cj account that commented on my page on september 27th on my clout chasing video was created on September 13th, 2016. And this account right here, you guys can go to both. Go to my page, click on this page, check the about section, go to go to this person's page, click on the about section, double check it, look at when the accounts were created. Now, if something gets magically deleted, we know what's going on. If something gets magically deleted, if 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 comments start to disappear, then we know what time it is. We know people are trying to pull the finesse move. But you see, the great thing about here at FYF Sportsman, we capture everything. Technology captures it, all right, before you can try to delete it. You know, and, and again, that's why I'm glad, man. I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I gave FYF Fred these crumpets. Crumpets. And T. Do I think do I do do I think that Will made disrespectful and disparaging comments about his own wife on a fake CJ page? Hell no. I told you I was crazy as Will is. I don't think he's that crazy. Do I think this person would have done it? Hell yeah. This person would have done that. Alright. Because we know we 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 know that there were people pushing the block cj movement a long time ago this was one of those people the block cj movement and the block cj movement was successful and we know the block cj movement was successful because the fake cj hasn't shown up since cj was blocked so there was mission accomplished at that time now we re reopened the investigation now we reopen the investigation into this person now we got to get to figuring out the digital footprint that figures out who you are and what your real agenda is now we need to figure out the digital footprint behind those spam messages. We need to figure out the digital footprint behind who went into the panel and put those messages in the back page. All right. So so uh, so we got we got work on our hands. We got work on we got we got a lot of work to do. But we on the job. And we on your ass. We on your ass right here. We know what type of time you're on. Again, the black the black Laura Ingram your days are number. The black Laura Ingram Please note that your days are numbered. Your time is coming. Your time is coming. All right. 
And just like Will got his sentencing date for having the boss to even create a fake CJ page just to fam a, spam a few silly messages, the evidence is pointing at you for creating a fake CJ page. But you did, you did something far more sinister. Something far more sinister. And we gonna deal with you in the next video. FYF Sports, we out. Oh, you gangsters think you tough, knowing you ain't about that life. Okay, now we call your bluff. It's time that you pay the price. Oh, you scared, scared, huh? Police about to read them rights. I don't wanna go to jail, man. Might not get no bail, man. Oh, you gangsters think you tough until them rollers pull them cuffs. Okay, now we call your bluff. You just be talking all that stuff. Oh, you a big dog, huh? Cut it out, boy, not even close. I don't wanna go to jail, man. I'm broke, can't get no bail, man. Bro, you funny, you a trip. Talking nonsense out your lips. Neighbors, they complaining. Tell you, calm it down a bit. Now you miss the tough guy. Like, fuck all that shit. Until them blues come knocking, now you sounding like a bitch. Oh, you gangster, think you tough. Knowing you ain't about that life. Okay, now we call your bluff. It's time that you pay the price. Oh, you scared, scared, huh? Police about to read them rights. I don't wanna go to jail, man. Might not get no bail, man. Oh, you gangster, think you tough. Until them rollers. Pull them cuffs, okay now we call your bluff You just be talking all that stuff Oh, you a big dog, huh? Cut it out, boy, not even close I don't wanna go to jail, man I'm broke, can't get no bail, man That's enough for LB for the day, man.